thing. This is a good example of of the wisdom that's embedded in those myths. So, like, I didn't know that much. And, about I, and I will say, sorry, to just pause for a second. Yeah. And I would say, in that history, specifically, because as a point of belief, I do believe that this is a historical circumstance. Uh, and whether you call it myth or history, as long as you believe the reality of myth, and you and I believe in reality in different ways, mm -hmm. and this is part of the fundamental distinction, because my understanding is that your understanding of what is true and what is real is uh, an almost a quasi utilitarian Charles Peirce view. Of, of, because you recommended me the book. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. and, but my, my view is much more like Sam's in the sense that most religious people believe the objective truth about historical myth. Yeah. Right? But when it comes to getting beyond that question, then I think we're in almost well, complete but, agreement. But the, the, the strange thing is, too, with these mythological stories is that, like, there are forms of abstraction that are more true than, than what they're abstracted from. 